game in here! What's going on everyone? It's your rifle here. And in this video I have you a throwback of Borderlands. A major throwback. I'm taking you all the way to the end of Borderlands 1. If you guys remember the Destroyer, well he's back. And this time, he's a baby back bitch. On Borderlands the pre-sequel. Let's just say he is back in his not so prime stage. But he can still hold up a fight. He is named the Tiny Destroyer on Borderlands the pre-sequel. Because of his tiny penis. And not to mention he drops a legendary called Moonlight Saga. It is a legendary Oz kit. And as you can see it is confirmed on the Borderlands wiki. That you can get the drop from the Tiny Destroyer. But this is an unfarmable boss. So to farm the unfarmable. You're going to have to dashboard after killing the Tiny Destroyer. If you don't get your legendary Oz kit. That is if you're even looking for it. And if you are looking for it. Well, I suggest starting this mission at level 50, just so you can find the best one possible. And this legendary Oz kit is pretty interesting actually. The red text of it says, you give me everything just by breathing. How romantic. Pretty sure that's why it's called the Moonlight Saga. It's referencing the Twilight Saga. <sighs> Anyways, as you can see, it has fixed capacity, life steal in vacuum, and health regeneration in atmosphere. When in vacuum, Here's something pretty interesting that Moonlight Saga does. When in vacuum, borders of the screen may sparkle. Ew, would you look at that? That's sparkly. But anyways, that's enough about the drop. Let's get started on how you find the Tiny Destroyer. Okay, now for how you see Tiny Destroyer, you want to start the mission Lab 19. This mission comes available to you once you are at Watch Your Step in the main story. The only really tricky part about this mission is that there is a code at one end of the map, and you have to type in that code at another end of the map to open the vault. By type, I have no idea why the heck I just said type. I mean shoot the arrows to make the number code of the numbers that are on the other side of the room. So you're gonna to have to find out what those numbers are to know the code to open this vault. You also have a specific time, and if the time runs out, these numbers will change for the code. And as you can see, it happened to me and the code changed on the wall on the other end of the map. Once you open the Lab 19 vault, you will notice that the tiny destroyer is inside. Be careful now, this primitive beast rips one nipple off and puts it on your forehead to pretend you are a unicorn from the ancient time of Normandy Knights and the Napoleon Nipple Slayers. You don't want to be pretending you're that, do you? Because those times were rough. Oh, were they rough. So come prepare for this freaking battle. But as you can see, tiny destroyer is the destroyer from Borderlands 1, the final boss. I thought this was freaking awesome when I first saw it and I had to share it with you all. I mean it is the freaking destroyer! For Gearbox and 2K for thinking about putting this badass back in, definitely deserves a big old chocolate chip cookie. I like chocolate chip cookies. And after the mission is complete, you actually get this Octo Shotgun. And the red text for this Octo Shotgun says Octo means 9. And there's a little octopus on the side of this shotgun. And if you guys don't realize, this is also referencing toward the destroyer because of its tentacles. I mean, come on, you get this gun as a reward for killing the tiny destroyer. It's awesome that this reward goes hand in hand with the quest. But overall, the shotgun is really good. So I suggest completing this mission once you've hit level 50. As you can see, I've got it at level 41. But it's still Rex. Has some nice damage. The accuracy on this shotgun is surprisingly really good. When you zoom in, the dispersion circle actually becomes nine squares. Yeah, that's right, nine, which means nine. So nine times one equals nine. And then 69 minus 60 equals nine. The only downfall about this shotgun is the recoil action it has on it. When you shoot, it jerks up, and it jerks up heavy. So I suggest when starting the shot with this shotgun, start a little lower on the enemy, unless your recoil is good, well then don't worry about it. But also not to mention, it is manufactured by TDOR, so the throwing bit of this shotgun is badass. It can explode like a grenade. Before I wrap up this video, some awesome little facts about this Octo shotgun. It could be obtained in the Borderlands 2 mission Slap Happy. On the Octo shotgun, the weapon skin itself is supposed to be very similar to an octopus underwater. So that's pretty awesome. And you can't forget about the octopus that's on the shotgun. Also, not to mention, this shotgun shot shoots in a sine wave pattern. 
But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you haven't, please subscribe for more Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Easter eggs, secrets, tips and tricks, gun guides, whatever I pretty much figure out and think is interesting enough to share, I'll be throwing out at you guys. Also, not to mention a like is highly appreciated from me, so if you could, please smack that naughty like button. But that's about wrapping up this video. Thank you all for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. And in this video, I have you a freaking awesome Easter egg. It's just like the Donkey Kong Easter egg, how that Easter egg played out in Borderlands 2. If you guys remember, it was a random spawn of King Mong.